I've been coming to Turku for over 10 years, so, so I know a lot of the people at the BTK. So for me, it was an easy choice, you know, just to, it was a way to formalize the relationships um, professionally. We're in Turku, Center for Biotechnology. This is one of the centers in Finland for um, generating data um, either on clinical samples from hospitals or on laboratory samples. The group here in Finland is um, trying to discover um, markers of development of disease. And by markers, I mean protein markers that um, circulate in your serum. And we're working on two different diseases, ovarian cancer and drug resistance in ovarian cancer and type 1 diabetes. And there's sort of two different problems, but the, the common theme is that the organs involved in those diseases, the ovaries or the pancreas, um, secrete proteins that then circulate in your system. And by profiling the proteins that are in serum of um, uh, diabetes patients or ovarian cancer patients, um, we'll be able to come up with markers that let us accurately predict um, when disease is about to develop or um, the existence of, of disease. And the method that we developed um, systematically looks um, everywhere um, in every sample. So, you know, this takes a lot longer to generate this kind of data, but we're more it's a systematic way of generating the data rather than a kind of random way. Part of the Fidi Pro proposal is, is in many cases transferring technology into Finland and we're, we're coming up on the end of year two of this four-year proposal and we've basically transferred in this new way of generating proteomic data and now we're at the point where we're starting to use it on real samples. Um, and so I can't really say much about the biomedical outcomes at this point because we really are only um, just now, in fact, we just had a meeting earlier today to look at some of the initial results. And they're promising, but that's all, all you can say at the, at the moment. Um, you know, what the hope is that over the course of the four years of this Feedy Pro project, um, we'll be able to systematically categorize the DIP samples that we have, the diabetes samples. For many of these patients, we'll have, we have seven or more time points across their lifetime, right? So it could easily be a hundred um, patients we'll be looking at times seven, <laughs> um, or 200 in total times seven. So that's really a phenomenal thing to be able to, to generate that much data. Dear, what is the worst thing? Um, you know, I can't really think of too many bad things. Um, it's a long way from Baltimore. <laughs> the travel gets to be a little bit old. Um, you know, I mean, it takes about a week to get over seven hours or so of jet lag. You know, we moved the, the family and the lab and the company all moved from Seattle in June of this year to Baltimore. So um, it's been a little bit chaotic this year trying to get everybody resettled. You know, some people read books and I read a lot at work. So I tend um, not to read when I get home and I'll sit down and you know, work on some music. Yeah, so this guitar is a little bit beat up it weighs less than four pounds, so it's easy. I can put it in my suitcase, actually, and just put it on plane. It's not very loud. It's kind of clanky. You know, it sounds something like out of the early 60s when they were just starting to use electric guitars. It doesn't really sound all that sophisticated. 
But having said that, I heard Billy Gibbons, the um, guitarist for ZZ Top, play one of these once. <laughs> he sounded great, of course. <laughs> 